Welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Tech Support and in today's video we'll be teaching you how to get started with Google Auth Engine. So Google Auth Engine is really helpful. You can start it with typing Google Auth Engine. So here you can see that Google Auth Engine has been shown here. So let's talk about the Google Auth Engine. So it's a platform that can help you analyze the auth data. So we do have petabytes of auth data, satellite images array. We can have other data as well, like a vector's data and also the population created data. So you can utilize this data so as to do your analysis for various purposes like environmental monitoring and also the, for the disaster risk reduction and also for the urban planning and management. So it is very powerful tool. And with the help of this tool, you don't need to actually download the data. So you just have to focus on analysis. So getting started, let's let's begin by creating an account. So let's go to the get started. So you have to register uh, for as, as you can um, for the beginner. You can start by simply clicking that you want to just try the code editor and for the non-commercial purpose or for your academic pursuit. So uh, here you have to uh, sign up so you can do it with your Google account and here I, I need to sign up so I'll sign up here and I will give my affiliation so this is a uh, academic for academic for the country Nepal so I just want to use it for research. So I agree with the terms and policies and I'm not the robot. So by simply submitting this, okay, what would you like to accomplish with the art engine? Please describe in few sentences. So I have to describe it uh, with a few sentences. Research for my master. Uh, I want to analyze analyze and use google earth engine for flood impact assessment okay here it is so i am submitting and here you can see my screen that it says thank you we are glad you are interested so after registering to earth engine here i can see that we can now have access to code editor and also to the developer docs and also here i can explore a graphical user interface and uh, many more so after registering let's go to the code editor from this platform here we can see that the code editor is available here and here we can see the ide of the google auth engine so this is one of the main code editor that is available here uh, where we can write uh, the code and we can execute with the run and if we execute then here we can see the console window the program that has been written here is going to be executed and the output is being shown here but if we define the map uh, type objects then it is going to be displayed in this map panel so also here we can see this left panel in this left panel we can see the script manager here we can see the various uh, scripts that we will be defining or we will be making that can be available from here okay so here we can see that there are some examples that can be very very helpful well beginning with the google Earth engine okay so here there is also documentation tab here we can see that various apis that can be utilized in this google Earth engine has been documented okay so here we can see the assets and in this assets we can see that we can now upload our own got file and also upload the save files and save uh, we can see that csv is also uh, can be uploaded here and image collections and folder can also be uploaded okay so in this right panel we can see the inspector as well so we can inspect our point okay so if i click here uh, then i can see that this is the point of longitude this much and latitude this much okay so this is the control and this is the task where i can see the various tasks that has been uh, given to this google auth engines is being uh, displayed here okay if i want to download some files here so it will be made uh, visible here okay so let's just begin with some of the examples is i you can see here that uh, as a beginner you can really uh, enjoy this course so here if i click on normalize difference i can see this code being displayed here so in this particular code uh, it is going to calculate the normalized difference vegetation index that is going to take into account the 
uh, uh, near infrared band and the red band and here we can see that we have defined the variables called image okay so this is the var uh, so we are going to define the variable as var okay so we are defining the variable called image so it is going to with this api it is going to access the modis data okay so and here we can see that we are also going to define the NDVI and this NDVI is going to be calculated on the basis of image dot normalized difference. Okay, so this is going to take the band surface reflectance band 02 that is NIR and surface reflectance band 01 that is red. Okay, on the basis of the same normalized difference is calculated and for displaying the same we also have to define the palette. And this is here we can see that uh, the color has been defined in the hexadecimal value. Okay. And with this code, we can set the center, okay? I want to uh, go somewhere in this particular longitude and latitude and with the zoom level of 8, okay? So here I can see that with this map dot air layer, I'm going to display the RGB, okay? See here that it is going to select uh, the band, particular band. Uh, this is the red and this is the green and this is the blue, okay? So I can learn a lot about this modis from here as well. Okay, uh, if I type it here, the modis, I can learn about this data set more from this particular. Uh, let me just go through one of these, uh, the Terra surface reflectance. If I go to the band, here I can see that surface reflectance band 01 and uh, the wavelength that is going to define whether it is a red and uh, or else. Okay, so here I am adding one of layer. Uh, with the modis band the um, modis band's name has been given here and i'm also going to add another layer that is going to take ndvi object and this is the visualization parameters and this is the layer name okay so if i hit the run here then it is going to execute the code and here i can see that two layers has been added okay one is the modis band that is rgb and second one is ndvi so this is the rgb and this is the ndvi so this is as simple as this okay so getting started with google Auth engine is quite very easy so let me just walk you through this api how this api works so let me just select one of these okay here is the geometry and i can see there that this is the either geometry dot point okay if i just uh, click here then i can see that this is going to uh, here you can see that ee.geometry dot point and it is going to take coordinates and projection system as its parameter and I can read here that uh, the arguments uh, would be the coordinates and it can be of type list of for the coordinates and I can also define the projection which is the optional okay so if I don't define the projections then it is uh, by default would be 426 okay let me just copy this okay and here i paste it okay so this would be uh, how i'm going to define a variable called locate okay so here is the i want to make a point and this is the point and i want to define the coordinates okay it is the list type the first one is uh, as you know that the first one is longitude okay so i will define it as 85 maybe and also the latitude which would be 28 okay so the projection system would be it is optional okay i can just leave it blank or i can just give it to epsg 4326 okay so if i just print the locate then it is going to be displayed in my console okay so let me just run this code here I can see my console being yellow and here I have made a point with the coordinates 85, 28. I want to display this point, okay? So let me just define map add layer. So it is case sensitive. I need to be aware of that. So locate is my object and I want to define the visualization parameters. I want to let it blank and I want to give it the layer name is location if i simply hit control and enter then it is also going to run the code okay so here i can see in my console the point is being displayed and also it has been executed but not in the same location so i have to zoom into that location okay that can be done with map dot center object okay so my object is locate and i want to go with the zoom level of 8 if I hit 
control plus enter then okay this is going to execute and here i can see my point okay so this is how this api is going to help and let me just walk you through map object and if i click here then i can see that map dot layer that has been utilized here and also the center object object zoom on complete okay so let me go through map dot layer so this is the object type the locate and visualization parameter and the name of the layer and also i can uh, toggle on or off okay if i want to off then i can set the value as zero okay and also i can set the opacity value that is the transparency value okay if i simply run this code then i can see here that this has been executed but i have set this value at zero so it is going to uh, off my layer okay so if i click here then i can see my point getting executed but here you can see that this is now a little bit more transparent okay i can also interactively set my transparency the opacity here okay okay so this is how uh, this api documentation is going to help you okay uh, let me just also walk you through some of the uh, data set so as you see that various satellite imagery are available like landsat sentinel and also the modis let me just uh, type here the sentinel so i can show you the example how the sentinel data can be accessed okay if i click here the sentinel 2 msi multispectral instrument level 1c or you can click the data set that you are interested in okay if i click here then i can uh, see the description here uh, what this data really means and what are the available bands here and what would be the image properties and what would be the terms of use okay you can also see this example if i click here then uh, i can access this code okay so from this code i can access the sentinel 2 image as you can see this here image dot uh, this is how the image collections has been called upon and i am going to filter it to my date of interest and also i am really interested that cloud coverage less than 20. so if i execute this see i can see that this data set which is image collection of a copernicus the median has been calculated and this is the visualization parameter is defined here and this is the layer name i can see it here and rgb visualizations can be seen here okay in this tutorial we learn how to get started with google auth engine so you can uh, explore through our other tutorials as well please keep supporting us like comment and share and also you can learn a lot through our blog post in our tech guides website as well thank you bye bye